Yes, yeah, two camera shot. Okay. All By right. the way, you look gorgeous. I saw you walking and stuff. Thank you very much. I had to bring a little bit of Bulma with the pink dress and the glove, you know. And so. the makeup. Wow, what a great yeah, job. Yeah, thank you. Did you do it yourself or you have a makeup artist? Oh, no, no, no. I have Brian Valentine as my makeup artist, and he had to do it like completely. I was going to do blue hair, actually. But we didn't get to do that today, and you know, so we had to bring it with the eyeshadow. Bring it. What brings you to Dragon Ball Superhero? Well, so I've been a fan since I was a kid. Vegeta was always my main, so I'm just like, you know what? I had to make sure that I was here for this. On the orange carpet, of course, they had to do it their way, right? So it's not a red carpet. You go with an orange carpet. I love that. No doubt. What's going on with you right now? Well, right now, I'm actually making my comeback pretty soon to the ring, so had to make a quick stop here to make sure that I got to witness this in the theaters in person and I'm really excited. What are the top things people say to you when they see you in person? <laughs> well I mean they comment about my height first of all and then I kick them and then it, it progresses <laughs> from there you know but no it's, it's really just um, I, my fiery personality I guess is what people are like not shocked about but you know I think more so that they're like wow somebody your height and that your stature can go in the ring like that like that's really amazing so if I can be that kind of an inspiration for other people I'm amazed by that and I love that there's advantages to being small right there definitely is I mean if anybody knows Rey Mysterio he's the perfect mold for that so I'm following in you know some footsteps that are amazing the lighter you are the less the impact Maybe, and maybe the bigger they are, the harder they fall. That's true, too. So, <laughs> you know, yeah. who are, so who are your favorite characters in Dragon Ball? So I love Vegeta. I'm always going to say Vegeta and Frieza. I've loved them forever. And I just feel like I haven't been able to do a really good Vegeta cosplay for the ring yet. So I think that might be something that I'm working on, kind of hint, hint. So, yeah. What junk food do you eat? I'm a really big Twizzler person, but I'm really big into trolley bright crawlers, too. I may have that in my purse right now, so... When you first got paid, paid, what did you do with that check? So what did you buy first? I am a really big collector and like statues and figures. So I went and I bought this really big Itachi statue, and it's sitting in my room right now. So. Oh no way! <laughs> Some people pay bills and buy a car, but you. Bought I mean, that. you know, that's the adult thing to do. Not me. No, no, no. We, we we like you know anime and wrestling, and I just continued that from when I was a kid, and you know, gaming, and that's just what I do. And your latest tattoo. Oh, Madara Uchiha. It's on my leg. Oh, let's just get a shot of her. It's on my leg. I don't know if we can get it, but... She's a true anime fan. Look at that. Who gets that on their leg? Look at that. Neji on the back. I just want to touch her leg. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, no, I'm a mega, mega fan. Uh, no doubt. You deserve to be here. How, I mean, the question didn't last, last, last question. So how'd you get to, how do you, how'd you get on this carpet? That's always my question. I'm always surprised how some people get on carpets. The well, tattoo? Well, you know what? I would love to say that, but I think um, it went through WWE because they know that I'm such a mega fan that they were just like, if anybody deserves to be here for this, it's you. So we're going to, you know, have you go for this. And I was like, okay, sure. Thank you. Bye. Like I was like, okay, before they change their mind, I'm going. So it was, uh, it was through WWE, but it's just through my really known love of anime. So Awesome. Yeah. I'm going to have dreams about you. <laughs> well, hopefully they're good ones. All, they're good. all your answers are eloquent. Thank you. So. Thank you. Well, they're, they're the true ones, and that's that's where, I, like, I'm not a gatekeeper or anything, but if you're a real fan, then I can appreciate that. Right. Good talking to you. Thank you so much for talking to you, too. I'll see you at the party. All right, let's all right, do bye, that. Right, ciao. <laughs> okay. Bye. What's up, guys? Jessica O'Connor with Fab TV. We're here at the Dragon Ball premiere in Los Angeles, California. I'm here with Fernando, and I just talked to Jay Farrow, and he just gave us the voices, and all the action it was so fun. And you talked to just about every single star of the movie, the producers. It was a star studded evening, to say the least. And yeah, we talked to Chris, we talked to Sean, we talked to Zeno, we talked to Alex, all the cool voices of Dragon Ball Superhero. It's an amazing event tonight here at the Oscar, at the Academy Awards, at the Academy. You excited? I'm thrilled. Can't wait. I don't think she's as thrilled as I am. I'm thrilled. I can't wait. It's, it's been seven years since the last film. So here we go. We're about to go inside and watch the movie. There Woo! it is. Bye. Welcome to Fab TV. Look at Hollywood's latest. See all the red carpets dressed to a T. Yeah, you know me. It's all free.